to nursery rhymes have become an important tool at one Kelowna daycare. Here we are together, together, together. Here we are together, all sitting on the floor. It's Mother Goose Day at the Young Parents Daycare at Kelowna Secondary School, where the emphasis is on nursery rhymes, songs, and fun. With two eyes and a nose and a mouth like me. Mother Goose was introduced at this daycare to give the parents, all of them high school students, some one-on-one -on -one time with their babies and toddlers. The patterning and the rhyming are really good for language stimulation and children just automatically settle down, calm down and become really um, good listeners to that um, chanting, rhyming kind of patterning. Up above the world so high, like a... The daycare found a lot of the parents didn't know the classic Mother Goose rhymes. The uh, objective is it's, it's, was that we would teach them the rhymes and songs uh, with their children so that it, it, it would be a skill that they could take away from the daycare. The children love it. The songs, the rhyming, and the close contact with their parents during an otherwise busy day. Um, I think it makes her a bit more active. Um, she gets to interact with all the other kids. And, uh, you know, um, motor development, doing all the actions and stuff. Experts in early childhood development say Mother Goose may be old-fashioned, but there's still plenty of magic in nursery rhymes. You're having a problem within a grocery store, just doing a simple little rhyme or two with them, it gives them your one-to-one -one attention and it helps settle them down. Not only does rhyming stimulate brain development, Mother Goose is just plain old fun for kids and their parents. Adrian Skinner, CHBC News. The Mother Goose program was developed in Ontario in the mid-80s. It's now in use in daycares and preschools across the country.